In this training module, I will be discussing some of the messages you may see when operating the TermLab measurement system. I will also explain the more common reasons these messages are displayed. TermLab messages fall into three different categories. Diagnostic messages, violation messages, and error messages. TermLab diagnostic messages are used to inform you of issues that could potentially affect the type of measurement you're trying to perform. The sensor not detected diagnostic message indicates that the measurement you want to take requires more sensors and or probes than are currently attached. For example, if you're attempting to run a head-to-head -head base race elimination run and you only have one sensor attached to the system, you will be notified that the required sensor is not detected. The power probe is not attached diagnostic message will be displayed if a power probe is attached to the system and SPL is present but no power is being detected. This can happen if you or the judge forgets to attach the power probe prior to taking a measurement. Because the power probe is plugged in, TermLab believes you want to measure power. If power is missing, you will see this diagnostic message. The power probe low voltage diagnostic message will be displayed when SPL is present, speaker current from the clamp is detected, but no AC voltage is detected on the speaker probes. If you see this message, you should make sure the speaker test probes are attached to the speaker leads correctly. The power probe low current diagnostic message will be displayed when SPL is present, AC voltage on the speaker leads is detected, but speaker current from the clamp is missing. If you see this message, you should make sure the clamp is installed correctly. Specifically, the clamp needs to be attached around either the positive or negative speaker lead. The next group of messages I would like to discuss are violation messages. These messages occur whenever a rule violation occurs as part of the measurement process. Power violations occur whenever the measured power exceeds the maximum limit allowed by the specific class the competitor is competing in. Frequency limit violations occur whenever the competitor's highest SPL occurs at a frequency that is greater than that allowed by the class. A red light violation is a base race or top dog violation that occurs whenever the competitor begins playing their system before go is displayed on the monitor. In base race, a red light violation will result in an immediate loss. In top dog, a red light violation results in a penalty. An overshot violation is a base race or top dog violation that occurs whenever the competitor exceeds the maximum SPL permitted for the run. An overshot violation will result in an immediate loss in both base race and top dog. MRP violations are generated by the new artificial intelligence features in TermLab. MRP stands for Minimum Required Power. An MRP violation will occur whenever the SPL is greater than what TermLab believes is possible for the measured power. This can happen if you're only measuring power from one amplifier in a multi-amp system. Or, this can happen if multiple conductors are being used to connect the amp to the sub, but you're only clamping one of the conductors. MRP errors can also happen if you or the judge accidentally clamp the power cable instead of the speaker conductor. There are numerous other scenarios that can result in an MRP violation. If you see this message, you should assume the measurement is invalid. The song quality violation is another new violation that is generated by the artificial intelligence system in TermLab. Some formats of competition, such as Bass Race and Top Dog, require the competitor to play music. TermLab analyzes the song being played and assigns a score based on both modulation and spectral content. At the conclusion of the run, the song quality score must exceed the minimum song quality threshold or a song quality violation will occur. The final group of messages I will be discussing are error messages. These messages indicate a problem with the measurement or a problem with the TermLab system. Sensor or probe diagnostic messages indicate a problem with the attached device. 
Every TermLab digital sensor and power probe has onboard diagnostic capabilities. TermLab interrogates each attached peripheral between measurements to ensure that they are working properly. It's highly unlikely that you'll ever see an error of this nature. A sensor or probe communication error indicates that the digital communication between the TermLab interface and the affected sensor or probe has been disrupted or lost. There are numerous reasons that can result in a communication error, but a bad or damaged sensor or probe cable is by far the most common. If you receive an error message that states that the TermLab interface is not responding, this indicates that the PC is no longer communicating with the TermLab system. This can happen if the USB cable comes unplugged. A bad or shorted sensor or probe cable can also cause this error. When a cable is shorted, excessive current is drawn from the USB port on the computer. The computer will then shut down the USB port to protect itself from the short. If this happens, you need to unplug all of the sensors and probes from the interface box and then unplug the interface box from the USB port on the computer. This will allow the computer to automatically reset the USB port. Then, reattach the TermLab interface to the USB port and verify the TermLab software detects the system. Finally, inspect each sensor or probe cable carefully and replace damaged cables before reattaching to the TermLab system. To ensure data integrity, TermLab serializes each data packet before sending the data to the PC. This technique allows the TermLab software to identify dropped or missing packets. If you see a keyframe block mismatch error message, this indicates that one or more data packets were dropped. To prevent these errors, try not to do anything on the computer during a run that could interrupt the measurement or slow down the processing of data. If you routinely see this message, you should focus on the performance of your PC. This is especially true if you're using the multi-monitor features in the Event Promoter Pro option. Today, most TVs are 4K. If you're using 4K TVs and you experience this warning, you should configure Windows to use 1080p for the external monitors. This will dramatically improve the graphics performance of the system. In this training module, you learned about the various types of messages you may encounter while using the TermLab measurement system. These include diagnostic messages, violation messages, and error messages. You are also introduced to various example messages for each group and why those messages occur. Thanks for tuning in.